I was. Keep going, keep going. Ready? Yeah, we got there. Let's go. Push. Kawabanga. Perfect. Maybe <laughs> fuck it, did. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I've got another equipment review for you guys and today I'm going to be reviewing my Fingles Finger. This is something that I've wanted for the longest time and yesterday on Canada Day, July 1st, I was finally able to get it installed so it was a little Canada Day present to myself and with regard to this piece of equipment, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, it is a piece of equipment used in strongman competitions. With regard to the actual features itself, with the original one that I was going to build, it was a little bit different from the one that I came up with. Originally, I wanted it to be 10 feet long with a 10 inch diameter and it was going to have a one quarter inch wall thickness which means it was going to weigh roughly 282 pounds based off of my own calculations however the materials were a little bit different from what I originally had planned this one right over here it is 10 feet one and a half inches long the diameter is 10 and three quarter inches and the wall thickness is five sixteenths of an inch so because of that this actually weighs 412.4 pounds so it's a little bit heavier than what I was expecting and it's a little bit too heavy for me to lift it by myself I got a little bit of help from my dad yesterday he's the one who built it for me and we were able to tell tip it over and it was really really fun but I'm gonna need a few months practice before I could get this done by myself with regard to the actual yellow section right over here this is gonna be the loadable section there's two feet of a loadable section at the very end and with regard to the loadable section we can fit 30 10 pound cast iron plates in here provided they're just three quarters of an inch thick so you could add an additional 300 pounds at this end and now in terms of the uses primarily when you think of the fingles finger you're gonna think of just picking it up and flipping it over however if you get a little bit creative you can use it for things like deadlifting squatting also doing things like shoulder pressing and now we're going to get into the pros and cons but first real quick like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help it with the algorithm and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content and now we're going to get into the pros and cons in terms of the pros the number one pro is this is a very unique piece of equipment that you're not going to see anywhere and also it's going to be very very fun and functional to use with regard to the functionality of it you're going to be in you're going to use five of the six primal patterns to get into this position right over here to lift it you have to get into a squatting position then to stand up you have to hinge at the hips so you're using the hip hinging pattern and you have to pull with your arm so you're using the pulling pattern then to get it up into the chest section you have to press it overhead so you're using the pushing pattern and then you have to walk it through technically if you want to incorporate the gate pattern you could also say that it uses six of the seven primal patterns if you end up incorporating the gate pattern because you have to walk from one end to the other but those are just some of the pros another one of the pros is that it's going to be absolutely terrific for developing strength particularly in the core and in the shoulders you're going to also need a lot of shoulder stabilization to be able to hold it in that position and now we're going to get into some of the cons because this does come with a few cons the number one con is it's going to have some limited training uses and also it's going to be very very noisy so for those of you who are not allowed to make a lot of noise wherever you are operating in this is not going to be the best piece of equipment and also it's going to be very very dangerous this is solid steel so if you accidentally slip or it drops on your head this can kill you so you need to be very very careful and very very experienced when using something like a fingles finger and then one of the final cons is because the cost of gas has gone up if you do plan on building one of these yourself it is going to be a lot more expensive the cost of steel mimics the cost of gas so because gas has doubled the cost of steel has doubled as well normally the steel tubing alone for a 10 foot pole it would have run you around five to six hundred dollars this right over here if you're looking to buy a 10 foot steel tube right now it's going to cost you at least eleven hundred dollars if you live in Canada which is where I live so bare minimum just on the tubing no other material required whatsoever you're spending eleven hundred dollars so by the time you have to build the platform if you build a loadable section all that other stuff it's going to run you at least fifteen hundred dollars and that doesn't include the time and labor that it's going to take to actually build it yourself and then with regard to the actual benefit who can benefit from it well if you are a strongman competitor or a strongman enthusiast then you're absolutely going to love this and you can benefit from it because it's going to be directly applicable to the strongman competition and then if you are a strength athlete this is going to be terrific for developing strength in terms of who's not going to be able to benefit from it pretty much anybody who is not a strength athlete or a strongman enthusiast or competitor isn't really going to be able to benefit from it if you were planning on training somebody like young athletes or beginner clients this would not be appropriate if you really wanted to you could build a smaller miniature fingles finger using a smaller steel tube that weighs a lot lighter however i wouldn't really recommend it for young athletes and for beginners this really is really advanced and you don't really need to do that you can get them to develop their strength in other ways that are going to be much much safer overall though 
I absolutely love this. The only thing is it is a little bit heavy and I'm gonna have to work on it quite a bit because shoulders have always been my lagging body part. So it's gonna take me a few months before I'm able to lift it and tilt it myself. But once I am, I'm gonna post a video and show you guys how I was able to pick it up and push it over myself. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Next Saturday at 10 o'clock AM, I'm gonna review another piece of equipment. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like me to review, drop your suggestions down in the comment section so I can review whatever you guys want me to review. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I'm gonna be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.